Hello there, Cancers. Welcome to your tarot reading. So um, thank you so much for joining me. I hope this reading finds you well. And uh, I hope that whatever messages, images, um, you know, spiritual advice that you get from this reading will help. So thanks again for joining me. So um, before I start this reading, I just want to say that I feel like the energy for this month is going to be very warm and soft and quite happy, quite giddy, quite flamboyant and quite happy. And um, there's a message uh, that I that came up and uh, the image, well, it's like a, um, a snippet. It lasted for a good 20 seconds. So I feel like that's that's what I would consider normally long compared to all the other signs that I've read for. Okay, so 20 seconds is um, is a long image. And so what I saw was, um, I saw a scene at the beach. So there's like the, the white sand on this side and there's like little waves, you know, just kind of like skirting uh, along the, the water, okay? And in the distance, I see this man, he's walking towards this way. And I see him, you know, appearing bigger and bigger and bigger. And he's a very handsome man. He looks about like maybe in his mid-30s mid or um, like late 30s. He has very dark hair, so darkish or brownish. It, it's long. It's not like shoulder length, but it is significantly longer. It's not like a buzz cut. It, it's, he has hair. And he's tan. He's very good looking. He's wearing a white shirt and it's a button up shirt with short sleeves. It's white. And he's wearing khaki, uh, like brown khaki pants. And the khaki pants are rolled up to his knees because he's walking along the water. So, you know, he doesn't want to get his pants wet. So he rolled them up. And then on his right hand, he's holding like a bundle. And in that bundle is, are like his shoes, his socks wedged inside the shoes. And then also like a jacket or a coat that's like tan color, like brown tan color. And so he's walking and I don't know how long he's been walking. But he keeps walking and all of a sudden there's like a spark in his eyes almost like a, a spark of recognition recognizing somebody from a distance or making eye contact with another person and then having that you know sense of like recognition reciprocated so he smiles this incredibly big bright smile and then all of a sudden he's still walking and i can't see what he's looking at but all of a sudden i see this golden retriever like a dog with a leash which means somebody was, you know, holding on to it at one point, it runs towards him. It, um, you know, he pets it, he bends down, he pets it. He recognizes the dog, it recognizes him. It doesn't bark at him. It's just kind of like twirling around his legs. And then um, he's right here, the dog is here. And then I see this woman coming towards him, okay? So um, what I feel is this is the month in which you might be long awaiting the arrival of something, the arrival of a person in your life, the arrival of some good news, the arrival of a messenger and, or the arrival of a friend. OK, so I feel like there is an energy of anticipation knowing that it's going to be any minute now any minute now they're going to be coming you know knocking at the door they're going to be pulling into the driveway they're going to be making their announce uh, arrival um, they're going to be announcing their arrival and i feel like the way in which this person comes to you is going to be very unexpected i mean this man has been walking for a very long time he could have easily you know gotten in a car drove on the main road and greet you at your door or in the driveway but no, he chose to take this back way and he's been walking for a long time. So I feel like he almost wanted to surprise this person. And, you know, it was the dog that alerted that that became aware of his arrival, right? It was the dog that alerted the owner that there's this man coming. So I feel like there is something that you're keeping close to your chest. You might have wanted to keep it a secret. You might have wanted to kind of like um, keep it a surprise but i feel like something is giving it away okay and it's not at all in a bad way okay it's not at all in a bad way so there's something that you want to surprise somebody with and i feel like you know maybe the dogs might have given it away or maybe um the way in which you did it is not as stealthy as it could be 
but either way there is a, a sign um, a, a sense of knowing by the other person they could be alerted to it or you know they they found out about it or there's a sense of knowing but anyway it's a pleasant surprise it's uh, not indicating to me that anything is bad it's not indicating to me some type of devastating dark deep dark secret that you're trying to hide from another person but I feel like there's um, definitely the arrival of somebody as well that you're you have long been waiting for contact communication seeing this person physically face to face okay so what's coming through here I have the three of acorns this is the three of wands okay and it's a funny depiction with this card so the three of wands is this man on a ledge he's holding three wands he's waiting for his ships to come in right so the traditional um, meaning associated with this card is waiting for your ships to come in breathing that sigh of relief because something's coming in something that you've been waiting for a very very long time and if you look at the neck of this giraffe okay it's got a very very long neck it can see over the horizon it can see what's on the horizon it has like a um i guess like a, a, a it has a vantage point that other animals don't have especially other land dwelling animals so i feel like you've been seeing this miles away and it's coming to you and you're very happy because like look at how flirtatious but also just happy just incredibly ecstatic this animal is it's trying to hide its um joy right like it's trying to hide that a little bit so i feel like there's somebody coming into the picture that you've been thinking about for a really long time either contact communication um, wanting to see them face to face wanting to set up a date to meet them wanting to you know go ask somebody out for a date like to get coffee to get lunch to get dinner whatever it is and then I feel like you know message sent message received and they're coming and the way in which they're coming it is very unexpected okay um, on top of this card is we have the moon here and the moon is our intuition is our sense of knowing and then in this situation as well I feel like you are you have the butterflies in the pit of your stomach you have the flutters you have the jitters you have that sense of anticipation and you're just like are they coming on Tuesday or on Thursday okay are they coming at noon or at night so there's this there's something here that is uh, you're anxiously waiting on and is giving you the jitters it's making you feel um, that mixture of you know anxiousness anxiety joy it, it's like a mixed bag of emotions but it's all very positive because it is you know innately very jittery and I feel that you're trying your very hardest to hide your your feelings I feel that you're happy and I feel that you're just really really anxious and I feel that these emotions are you know no matter how much you try to hide it it's seeping out from your pores it's seeping out from every orifice in your body uh, your gait is different your walk is different even when you smile it shows up in your eyes the sparkle the joy the contentment whatever it is it's really seeping out through your pores so I feel like everyone around you will be able to pick up on this and they will also you know compliment or they will also you know um, make an observation like oh you seem giddy today or you seem very happy today and I feel like it is really a joy a contentment a, a, a sense of happiness that is kind of like emanating from within and it's very very contagious okay so this is great I'm really happy to see this for you I feel like in the recent past um, you guys have been incredibly busy I feel like you might have been juggling two things okay so we have literally the juggler two of Pentacles two Pentacles and this is the two of crystals but it's the two of Pentacles um, and then it reduces to the ace of wands okay so let me talk about this first so I feel like you know um, things were quite busy some of you might have been doing two jobs some of you might have a main job in a side gig some of you might have been um, grappling with school and work 
okay like doing school full-time or even working full-time and then others of you there were just a million things kind of like on your plate and i feel like you were you know you, it was like nose to the grindstone you were working very diligently you were working very hard you were trying to take care of all the things on your plate in addition to you know handling life taking care of your relationships taking care of your children if you have children taking care of your family members so i feel like everything was just on your plate there was a lot on your plate and then I also feel like there might have been a lot of uh, travel demands associated with your job. Okay, so like um, having to drive back and forth to meet clients, having to drive to, from from one one place to go to work and then another place to go to school. So I feel like you know life wasn't like a, a walk in the park. And then I also feel like this is the month where things are starting to quiet down a little bit. Um, at least you're dropping some of these things off your table you're just like you know I don't want to wear myself ragged I don't want to um, just exist just to fulfill all these obligations I want to enjoy my life I want to do things the easy way I don't want to do things the hard way and so I feel like there's a, a moment of clearing okay awakening renewal and this is the judgment card there's a, a, a little bit of like, you know what? This is not working for me. I need to clear some of these responsibilities and obligation off my plate. And I feel like for some of you, you might have systematically knocked them out one by one, just kind of like nose to the grindstone, get this done, get that done and clear it away, never have to deal with it again. Or you actively sought out, you know, this is not important to me. I don't need to do it. And I feel like you just might have just tossed it or cleared it off your table. And so I, I'm sensing here that cancers, you're coming into the month of February with a sense of purpose, okay? No longer juggling, no longer flip-flopping back and forth. I feel like you're going after, um, you're going right after, I'm sorry, you're going after exactly what you want. You're no longer flip-flopping. You're no longer doing this juggling act. You're realizing with the high priestess here this is what makes me really happy. This is what I have enough time to devote to. Therefore, I'm going to go forward with this course of action rather than scattering my energies. And I honestly um, just heard, rather than trying to please everybody, I'm just gonna please myself. Okay, so you're aiming to be a little bit um, self-contained, take care of yourself first. Uh, other people might say, you know, selfish, but I feel like it's a healthy dose of let me take care of me let me stop pandering to other people let me stop doing things for other people just because i don't want them to get mad at me let me stop caring for other people and and devote some of this energy to self-care to self-help to make myself happy to you know plan a trip to to do a getaway whatever it is you're doing it because you understand the need to really feed yourself and to, the need to really nurture yourself and the need to kind of put yourself first. And so it was a long road for you to find the space where you can be okay with saying, I want to walk my own path and not have, you know, other people question me or not be affected by what other people will say if I do this. I'm just going to walk my path. And I feel like for the month of February, it's all about you staying on that path, okay? Finding new passion, finding the courage to not, you know, be afraid of whatever it is that you want to do, not having to answer to other people, not having to take care of other people, but really devoting the time doing exactly what you want to do. If you want to stay in bed and eat, you know, potato chips and, and watch like, um, uh, a binge on like a whole season of something you're doing so unapologetically okay and then if you like if, if there's a get-together with a bunch of friends and you're just like I don't really want to do that I, I just want to go to the movies you will do that unapologetically okay and so whatever it is you're coming into your own you're coming into your own sense of this awakening I don't know if anyone has ever read that uh, book the awakening I think it's called The Awakening, but it's basically about uh, a woman 
um, some people would say like almost like having a midlife crisis where she's awakened to her life and how whether like what she needs to do in order to make herself happy um, the book has a sad ending but what I feel is this this sense of awakening what do I want to do what makes me feel good why have I, have I not been doing these things as well as you know why am I holding myself back okay so there's a lot of freedom to move about there's a lot of like um, I guess like um, the sense of empowerment when it comes to I'm going to do this I want to do this I'm not going to be apologetic about it anymore coming into your own you know being comfortable in your own skin being able to tell p other people what you're doing without having to make excuses for it being able to tell people as well um, what you're planning to do without having to justify your actions so it's very refreshing to see your energy as being so blunt so straightforward so singularly focused on something because honestly a lot of the times cancer you tend to skirt back and forth you tend to be a little bit more on the fence and you know kind of like that crab on the ocean or on the beach you tend to move in a very unpredictable way it's like you want something but you might be skirting around the issue and not really going for it so this is the month where I feel like you are a lot more authentic with yourself with your needs your wants your desire and I feel like you're I don't see like communication I don't feel like you're sitting down with another person and telling them this is what I need this is what I want Th these are the things that you you should do to make me happy I don't see any of that I don't see the negotiations I just see you taking action okay and uh, I definitely feel for many of you there is something new in the works that is uh, triggering this okay it's bringing about a new way in which you're looking at your life um, they're saying here many of you are a very old soul okay and old souls are uh, highly empathic old so people who have a very old soul they have a really good gentle heart but um, they don't they don't like to impose on other people they don't like to inconvenience other people they also have a very good understanding of human nature they don't you know kind of like wedge themselves in between somebody and a bad course of action that person is taking so they're very live and let live and if they love someone and that person is making like a bad decision they don't tell them they just let that person go through the process and learn these lessons on their own that's a I, I feel like that's a the epitome of an old soul very live and let live and I feel like many of you are on your path to discovering your soul's purpose many of you might be heavily into astrology into metaphysics into you know esoteric teaching like the tarot runes um, you know things like that spirituality and I feel like you've tapped into something that makes you feel very connected to your higher being you're tapping into something that allows you to see life in a different way or you're tapping into something that allows you to kind of like get more in touch with your heart and figure out what direction you want to take what exactly you want to do who exactly you want to be with and so there's a lot of awakening happening in this spread for the month of February and I feel like the catalyst the kind of like the, the trigger that allows this situation to happen here is we have here a juggling act okay juggling act, waffling back and forth bouncing back and forth possibly even bouncing ideas off another person trying to get a second opinion trying to figure out what you should do based on what somebody else is telling you and then with the ace of wands this is brand new passion new projects coming into the picture possibly a new job that will take you further away possibly something that is very um, I want to say the presence of somebody that is uh, very passionate very different from you very spiritual and the way in which they come into your world is it's almost like they're bringing the full spectrum of the rainbow okay this is a peacock here and you know the the feathers um, the the tail feathers are huge okay 
So I feel like the 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 um, impact that this person's presence has on your life, on your psyche, on your thoughts, is their presence is very very big in your life, and I feel like you're very passionate either about this project or about this person, and I feel for many of you it is a new job, a new project, a new uh, client. For some of you, it's like a, a workplace romance, a new client or even a new person that brings about a sense of deep awareness in your life that has not been there before. They're showing you how to be decisive. They're showing you how to, you know, the correct way to expend your energy. They're showing you the most efficient way for you to do something. So I feel like your life is greatly enhanced by the presence of this person. And I feel there is a presence of somebody significant coming into your life, bringing about this sense of awareness, spiritual, physical, or even mental, mental clarity, bringing about a sense of immense awareness that will really drastically change the way in which you look at the world. Okay. Um, on the other hand, I do have another uh, person that might also be uh, a significant fixture in your life for the month of February. What I have here is the Queen of Swords, okay? Queen of Feathers, Queen of Swords. I'm not reading the sign, so I feel like this is the energy of somebody who is also incredibly intelligent and incredibly intuitive. I feel like they've been looking at you for some time. You have been looking at them for some time. So the energy could flow both ways, okay? So what I'm feeling, and I would just, um, wherever the energy hits, that's where you stick, okay? And then the partner or whoever you're dealing with is the other energy. So one person is looking at the other. One person sees the other person as larger than life. I feel like you might be seeing them as larger than life some of them might be seeing you as larger than life i feel like there is um one person wants to approach and have a conversation make amends uh try to resolve a situation and they don't know how um one person feels like the other person's a little bit stern a little bit cold and might not be supportive so I feel like somebody is afraid to reach out because one person is very sensitive and um, they're trying to kind of like test the waters. Uh, not saying what's on your mind, trying to test the waters, trying to assess where this person stands with you, trying to assess where this person, how this person even feels about you. And then I'm also feeling a little bit of fear and a little bit of like trepidation about, you know, what should we talk about? How do I segue in? How do I get their attention? What do I say to them? How do I, you know, break the ice? And I'm sensing that this person has foresight that you are coming in wanting to talk to them. And I also feel like if it's uh, reversed, you have foresight, you have premonition that they're coming in and, and thinking about you heavily. So I do feel two people thinking about each other very, 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 very heavily. And I do feel two people who uh, one person might be a little bit like sharp with their words and the other person's quite timid and guess where you stand. I feel like you're the timid person because um, cancers, you guys are really sweet. You guys are very, very, very nice person. And I've yet to see a Cancerian person get mad, okay? Like get really upset and get mad. And uh, normally I feel like you're very delicate with your words. You're very conscientious about, you know, how, what your body language projects, how you, you're conscientious about your tone, your body language, the word choice that you use. And so I feel like you're not the, the, the one that is harsh with your words. I feel like the other person might be. And, um, I feel like the communication has been a little bit problematic because you too might be speaking literally different languages. I feel like you're trying to explain something to them and they don't understand it and you're getting frustrated. I also feel like, I also feel like for some of you, um, 
you want to project this aura that you're okay, you're capable, you're confident. And so this person has never seen your vulnerable side. And I feel like it's hard for you to show them or talk about your vulnerabilities because the other person just feels like you're invincible. The other person really holds you in high regard and they feel that you're the, the, the fix it person, you know? And so they've never seen you, um, they, they, they have never seen you uh, vulnerable. They've never seen you scared. They've never seen you stressed out. And so I feel like there's difficulties in trying to bridge this connection as well because of that. Because we are kind of like um, in love with the what our idealized image of the other person. And we're not approaching the other person for who they are. We're not having the conversation with that person based on who they really are. And I feel like there is a little bit of... Uh, projection happening here they see you larger than life you feel like they're larger than life and so i feel like the relationship or the connection is not really grounded okay this is the month where there's going to be a little bit of grounding a little bit of like i thought things were this way but now this person has shown me a different side of themselves i also feel like whatever uh hang-ups whatever difficulties you have had with this person in the past when it comes to communication you're going to be able to clear that up. I also feel like the other person is going to meet you halfway. Okay, so we have here two of pentacles and then the two of wands. Okay, it takes two people for this interaction to work or to at least soften this interaction. And so I feel that they are meeting you halfway. Uh, the twos are all about partnership. It's all about, you know, reciprocity and, and um, give and take. And, you know, it, it's not about this tug of war, but I feel like it's, it's about give and take. Giving leeway, compromising. So I feel like the other person is coming in, trying to understand, trying to, um, you know, balance out the situation with you. So you're not alone in this. I feel like they're putting in their fair share of the work to make sure things are balanced. Things are harmonious and peaceful we have here the six of wands okay and this is all about victory overcoming um possibly like overcoming a difficult situation mainly because you have the skills the expertise and the knowledge in order to get ahead of it stay ahead of it and stay on top of it so i feel like this is you know the 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 winner takes all but not in a dreadful way i feel like it's it's the, the, the most capable person is going to come out the victor. So there's a lot of applause and there's also a lot of like um, casting aside the ego and knowing that we didn't achieve this on our own, that other people have helped us along the way. And so the six of wands, it is all about getting your, um, your recognition, getting the recognition that you deserve, okay? I feel for many of you, um, there might have been like a job interview or something like that. Um, and I feel like, let's say if it's in a helping profession, okay, if you're in counseling, if you're in, uh, in some type of a, a role where you have helped other people emotionally, mentally, or physically, you could be like a physical therapist, you could be a nurse, whatever the, the profession is. And if you have interview for a job, I feel like all the good karma is coming back to help you to allow these people to see these shining uh, qualities, humanitarian qualities about you, where the other person or the people interviewing you, they're like, we want that person because they're very genuine, okay? So if you have been feeling very muddled about your career, this is the month where you're going to be able to talk very passionately about what you want your career to look like five years from now, 10 years from now. Um, I feel like the way that your energy comes across is very decisive, assertive, and no nonsense. And so when you're going on a job interview, for example, you're going to embody this energy because you know yourself quite well and you can talk about your skills, you can talk about your shortcomings, you can talk about your dreams and aspirations. And in the process of talking about it, I feel like people really understand you. People are very enthralled by you. And people are just really 
taken in by you. And so you're going to land the job. You're going to, you know, have that victory over changing somebody's mind. Okay. And so things are looking very good here in general, uh, cancers. Um, I just feel like for those of you in particular, if you are dealing with um, like a, a situation where a partner, a relationship partner, um, there has been like difficulties in the past between you and this relationship partner regarding vulnerability, regarding showing feelings, there's going to be a conversation had this month. And I feel like the other partner, like whoever it is that's launching the complaint, the other partner is finally listening. Okay. They're really, really listening. They're just like in the past, they might've been defensive. They're really listening to try to ask follow-up questions, to try to understand where you're coming from, to try to understand like what they can do in order to better the relationship. Okay, so whoever was, you know, once upon a time fumbling around in a dark cave or even like muddled, like like walking around very muddled, very confused, uh, lacking direction, lacking purpose. This is a bat in a cave. Okay, so if in the past you were like this or if in the past they were like this, now they're becoming like a raven or a hawk with a clear sense of purpose, with a clear vision. They're able to spot what they want from miles away and they're able to go for it. So I feel like you're coming out of this dark cave into the light and you're able to see and, and feel and, and know exactly what you want out of life. It's like your heart and your mind are in alignment. That's what it feels like to me. But there's also a lot of, um, I want to say, to the universe's credit, there's a lot of forces working behind the scenes, okay? Your angels, your spirit guides, your higher self, guiding you in this direction, uh, whispering, unbeknownst to you, whispering words in your ears so that you can say the right things at the right time to the right people, possibly to this relationship partner, uh, on this job interview, or even to the right circle. And I feel like it's really enhancing your visibility and it's making you come across as someone who's very sure of themselves, very decisive, very, um, I want to say, someone who knows who they are, okay? So there's a lot of uh, spiritual awareness. There's a lot of messages coming through from the other side, coming in for this month. If you need some guidance, I would say sit alone and meditate and you will get the answers that you need and those answers are not coming in by accident that's your spiritual advice um i feel that this is going to be a very transformative month for you and it is it's like everything is emanating from the inside it's coming out from the inside of you you're realizing what you are capable of okay so for some of you, you might be completely immersed in like a problem, a, um, a project, a new relationship. And I feel like it's really bringing out the best in you. Okay. You're going to be very happy this month, cancers. And I am so happy to see this for you. So I do wish you all the best. Okay. Ride out this wave. Enjoy this burst of energy. It is really refreshing to see. It feels to me like somebody taking a bath and, you know, coming out of the bathroom clean. It's like a new start, a do-over, a clean slate. That's what it feels like. And, you know, when you step out of the shower, step out of the bath, everything is squeaky clean. You feel refreshed. You don't feel tired and, and sluggish and, and um dreading the new day you feel prepared right so I, i'm sensing that's what it feels like to me it's a breath of fresh air in your life and a lot of it has to do with you know starting to recognize yourself being very uh honoring really honoring yourself and honoring your needs your wants your desires and you can't honor it unless you know what your needs are unless you know what your desires are what your wants are so I feel like you're getting to the very, very pit 
of your heart and trying to figure out what really makes it sing. And in the process of self-discovery, I feel that you're taking the steps to make yourself feel alive, to make your, to really honor, you know, your heart, okay? I'm so happy to see this, Cancers. Um, best of luck with everything, okay? Take care of yourself and take it easy for this month and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.